Okay, in this episode, we're going to look at a cocktail website that needs some help making money. Let's dive into it. We're going to talk about making some money with an affiliate site. And if you want more help doing that, you can go check out my affiliate marketing video course. And if you use the video code, if you use the promo code video, you will get uh, 20% off as of right now in this video only. So let's get into straight up monetization. So uh, the website's called thatcocktail.com. Great brand name. Love that brand name. Uh, very simple. It has less than 10,000 visitors a month, so we're not working with a lot of traffic here. 42 posts have been published. All of their um, marketing is Google SEO, email marketing. Email subscribers, is, I would say pretty decent, 245. It's not bad. They make money with affiliate links, and they don't really make much money, but they want to learn how to convert visitors into money. So let's take a look at the website. The website is this. Uh... It looks kind of like we're using a version of Carbonate, which if you use the promo code video, you can get for 20% off. Uh, and you can go to moneylab.co slash Carbonate. But I see a lot of problems with it. But let's just take a look to make sure that it is not a... Uh, I'm getting used to a new keyboard, by the way. Got one of those mechanical guys. Oh, so I just tried to clear the cache, and it looks like some loading stuff happened. I don't know why that loading screen was there. That is not part of Carbonate. Um, whatever that is could be slowing down your website, just a, just a heads up. So let's take a look at how to make money. In fact, they sent me, and, and, and this is a little risque, but they sent me their best post. How to make a porn star martini, a quick and easy cocktail recipe. What the hell's the difference? Let's find out. Uh, so it is combining vanilla vodka. Oh God, I already hate this so much. Oh my God. That is the worst drink I think I've, I mean, maybe it's good. Lime juice, vanilla vodka. I don't know what Pessoa is. Passion fruit juice. Oh God. Anyway, let's just look at the, let's just look here at the, the post itself. So you can see up here, uh, they have 245 subscribers and they say, get quick and easy cocktail recipes delivered directly to your inbox for free. Uh, that's not going to get you a lot of email subscribers. Also, you're asking for a first name and an email address. You really only need the, the email address and then you can ask for their first name later. Um, I only get people's first names when they buy something. And otherwise, um, if I say, you know, they say you should personalize your emails. Everyone nowadays knows that you don't, you're not really sending them an email and typing in their name. Like, Hey, Darlene, you want a cocktail? Anyway, that's my mother's name. I don't know why I chose that one, but here we are. The martini, which looks okay. The, the, the image is very blurry on my screen. I don't know if you guys can see it here in, uh, on YouTube, but it looks pretty blurry. Could just be a, uh, Uploading it with an image compression software. If you use Imageify, that could happen. Um, I know some people have just reached out. My buddy Sean Ogle, which you can find at Location Rebel on YouTube. You check him out. Uh, he had some issues with some blurry images. I think he was just using very aggressive. Well, I know he was using ultra aggressive uh, image cache caching. Or sorry, image compression. And so when you do that, it makes the image look blurry. How to make a porn star. Martini, table of contents not even shown. But that's a lot of content, if that's true. Let's look. take a look. Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty lengthy post for a cocktail site. I dig it. Uh, let's take a look at the... So it looks like they're using Lasso, which is an affiliate marketing plugin. And... What I don't like about how they did this is the button. There's way too much text in the button to the point where it doesn't even look like a button anymore. It should just say buy now on Amazon or something very simple. Buy now. I would be very, I would look more into this. Maybe this is causing some problems with conversions. The, the button should be plain and simple. Buy now. Very simple. 
and it looks like the action colors are good. Very similar action colors to Money Lab, actually. Not to say it was taken, but it's very similar. And as far as money is concerned, this is going to be tough. This is just going to be tough. But I have a few ideas because if I were going to run a cocktail site, this is how I would do it. Okay. One, if you're, if you're just like completely focused on making money with affiliate links, I'm going to give you a tip after this tip that you may want to look into outside of affiliate links. Cause here's the problem with the cocktail site. It's really hard to sell alcohol unless you have an affiliate relationship with a company like Drizzly, which you should have because, hey, that's that's a great way to make money. It's another affiliate site. And then you can start to link to Vanilla Vodka. What's your favorite Vanilla Vodka of choice? Pessoa. I also think that cocktail sites do really well when there's a person behind it and you can trust that person's taste. I, I watch a YouTube channel called How to Drink. I don't know the guy's name, if I'm being honest, but I've, I've watched a lot of his stuff. And when he makes a cocktail and he puts a recipe out, I specifically go directly to him because I know that whatever he puts out, is, it's going to be a good cocktail because he has good taste. And I've made cocktails from him, from him before. But I don't have a name, but I have a face. I have a face I can go, okay, that's that guy's brand. Maybe I just said that and I was like, I don't know the guy's name, so who cares if it's a person? But... There is, I guess, some trust. I guess I do go to liquor.com because I do trust that, but it's liquor.com. So never mind. Forget that tip. But I would look at if you're just going to stick to affiliate marketing, go with something like Drizzly. Cocktail glass. I do like that you're saying, okay, we recommend this cocktail glass, but why? So when you, whenever you're, I think a lot of affiliate marketers make this mistake, and I'm guilty of it as well, is you have a blog post. You mention cocktail glasses, and then you're like, here's a cocktail glass. And it's like, okay, but why do I like that? Like, what's so special about this cocktail glass as opposed to any other cocktail glass, even the one that I have in my own home? Perhaps this one is made with heavy-duty glass that doesn't break. You know, perhaps it's got a – it holds more liquor. Whatever the, whatever the selling points are, look into that and – Maybe use that as like an intro into it or add a description into this box. And again, you just want to see, you know, you could see, you could say, see latest prices, but you have the price here. So I don't need to see the latest price. You have the latest price, right? So just put buy now on Amazon. And again, this is all created with Lasso. So if you have Lasso, this is kind of done for you. You don't have to add all this extra content into the button. It's actually making it worse. You also should bump up your H2s a little bit, or these are maybe H3s. That just helps make things stand out. You're gonna need a shot glass for that. So that's not true. We would use a measuring thing. So in this in this case, I know that you could make good money by having a recommended products thing, like build your own bar type of page, right? That page can have you know, bar spoons, mixing containers, shakers, measuring devices, jiggers, things like that, right? So if you could you could build out that whole thing and you can have this like very good page with all these affiliate links, like here's everything we recommend to build your bar, to get your bar like in top condition. And when you create a post like this, that page either should be linked to or those pieces should be here. So you can keep reusing them all the time. So for example, maybe this is a, a glass that, or a cocktail that needs to be shaken, not stirred, James Bond. So you wouldn't put a bar spoon here, you'd put a shaker. So, hey, you're gonna need a cocktail glass, a shot glass, and maybe we're gonna see shaker. We have this, shake, baby, shake, porn star martini box. So you just gave away the whole friggin' thing in the box, and it's only 12 pounds. Well, yeah, you're really not going to make money if you do that. But now you have this one, which is a 5-liter keg of it, for $77. Why are we giving this away right, off, right, right out of the gate? Why are we not helping them make 
the the now we're starting with the mocktail. Interesting history of the porn star martini. That's good that you put the history after all the. You know what is it called the the, wait a minute what the hell did I just read? How to make a porn star martini. So a porn star martini is click here to jump to the recipe. Oh, did I just completely skip this? Oh, so the recipe's at the top. Got it. And look, all of these should be affiliate links. Why not? Right? Cocktail shaker. You know, ice, but you could include ice maker. Vanilla vodka. All of these things. Shake well. Cocktail glass. That should be linked. Great. And you could throw all of this in at the top. And then underneath this, you have, you have an image, which is probably good for Pinterest. That's this is you're just repeating the same thing you just did up here, and this is going to be annoying for anybody that's on a phone or has to get through this and and things like I don't need this. This is for Pinterest. So what you could do there is just stick this all the way at the bottom, or you could create a custom field in WordPress and just add this image there so that you can anybody that comes to your site and clicks the Pinterest button or whatever, which I don't think people really do anymore, but who knows then that would automatically pin to Pinterest. This is not helpful because we just talked about it up here and you can't do anything with this. You can't add affiliate links with, if that's your problem, get rid of it uh, or at least move it down to the bottom. Then you have all the ingredients. So you have the vanilla vodka, great. Again, drizzly or something similar to that. Uh, this, whatever, Pessoa, add that. Cocktail shaker, but then the cocktail shaker is this stupid gift that no one cares about. Uh, I guess it's funny, but then if you hover over it, it's got this whole other thing that can make people leave your website. So we don't need the cocktail shaker GIF or GIF. Uh, all we really need is what is the cocktail shaker? That's there should be an affiliate link. And then now we're so like th this is probably arguably the thing that people get asked about the most is like, hey, I need a cocktail shaker, but yet you don't give them a cocktail shaker to buy. And you've written a whole detailed guide somewhere else that I have to go, I don't need that. Tell me what it is right now. Affiliate links. I want to, this is your most popular post. You need to get people to click. You need that cookie to be on their website. Anyway, moving forward, cocktail glass. Again, we went through this. I, I think, so then you have, oh, martini sets. I'm sorry. So these are all at the bottom. That's perfectly fine. But maybe start with the more expensive one above it. If you want to make more money on affiliate links, you know, 30%, 30%. Oh, I wish, I wish we could get 30%. 3% 3, 3 on an Amazon 12, 12 pound box. No, I mean, you're not, that's, you know, we're talking pennies here. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's, I think that's, that covers it. It's, it's really just about when you look at an affiliate site, I think for me, it's really about providing just like exactly what people need to do the thing that you want them to do. In this case, like they want to make this porn star cocktail. That's fine. Give them the tools they need to do it. They need ice. They need a shaker. Maybe they need a strainer. You didn't even add that. Uh, they need all the ingredients to do that. Maybe if they're, you know, if, again, if they're cutting fruit, they need knives. They need a cutting board. If they need, you know, there's all these pieces and you have to think of your site more holistically, right? Think about your affiliate site as a small mom and pop retailer. And what do you offer? You, you come into the retail store and you're like, hey, I wanna make a cocktail. And you're like, great. Uh, have you ever made a cocktail before? Sure, I, I've made cocktails before. Or maybe, no, I haven't made a cocktail. Whatever your customer wants. And you go, okay, so you're gonna need this bottle, this bottle, this bottle, and you're gonna need this shaker, and you're gonna need this bar spoon, and you're gonna need this strainer, and here's your thing, here's your kit, ring you up, boom. You can go home tonight and make a porn star martini if that's really what you want to drink. You can do that. So, hope that was helpful. If you like this video or if you, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more website teardowns like this, hit subscribe or consider hitting subscribe. No, hit subscribe. Don't be lame. And... If you think I missed anything or you think like, hey, there was a glaring error there or, hey, I would do this and maybe help them out a little bit, please leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you in the future.